Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you a speedy way of getting Jennifer Lopez's new look in her Into You video. She has about three or four different looks going on in that video and I'm going to start by showing you the really natural one. It's beautiful, she looks amazing, stunning and it's a really lovely summer look down by the beach if you want to put a bit of makeup on. Um, glossy glowing skin, deliciously plump juicy lips and a little bit of definition on her eyes but really it's all about having that dewy skin so I am going to start by using an oil on my skin to moisturise. So I'm going to use a couple of drops of Aromescence Neroli by Declior um, and I'm using an oil this time, oh my goodness that's not a couple of drops, that's half a handful. <laughs> I'm going to use this today instead of a moisturiser because I want the skin to be dewy and glossy. So although this does sink in very quickly, it'll leave my skin with a slight sheen. So just heating it up in my hands and really massaging it into my neck. and all over my face. Right, the next product I'm going to apply is an instant tan bronzer because as always I'm really pale and JLo has this gorgeous glow to her skin, a real golden sunkissed look. So this is by Make Believe, um, I don't you can see that there, and it's a wash off face and body instant tan bronzer. Um, the colour I'm using here is light to medium so I'm just going to apply that slightly over the top of the oil which I've just done. Now when you see this you're probably going to freak out because well it looks black really um, but as you will see now when you put it on your skin it really doesn't come out like that and you just blend 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 all over remember it's a wash off one so don't freak out you can always take it off start again. Um, obviously for this you would need to fake tan your body if you were me um, but for the purposes of this video I'm literally just going to do this much so you can see the look on my face so my hands will be a different colour. So getting a tiny bit on my fingers and applying it now. Now if you're not a fan of using foundation you could always use a tinted moisturiser and there are lots and lots out there on the market. One I have here is a Dr. Hauschka one um, which is called Toned Day Cream and it just gives your skin a really lovely sort of golden complexion without the use of foundation. So um, that's one way of doing it and it'll also leave your skin quite sheeny. Another way is of course using a foundation. Now the one I'm going to use on myself today is a MAC, MAC Cosmetics Face and Body. Um, you may have heard me talk about this before because it is one of my favourite foundations and it works really well on my skin because my skin is quite dry. So um, it is not in any way a drying product it leaves your skin looking really fresh and natural. So I'm going to apply some of this now. Um, not a huge amount in the back of my hand and I'm pretty much using all fingers today um, so you can see another way of working rather than using brushes. So, um, using circular motions I'm just applying it to my skin. Not a lot but just enough to give you a bit of coverage and you can see how it's really keeping the sheen of my skin which is what we want for this look I'm now using a Bobbi Brown foundation stick in a lighter colour to just go slightly underneath my eyes cover up my circles, my dark circles and now another Bobbi Brown product it's called Pot Rouge um, and this one's Calypso Coral, number two. So I'm just going to use this on my cheeks. A tiny little dot, you don't need much because the pigment's really strong. So just smiling, giving a little dot to each cheek there and then blending it in. Just gives a nice little flush of colour. And without using a powder you keep the skin really sort of fresh. Wow, I feel like there's a bit of a race against the clock today. I um, seem to be ploughing through this. Uh, just shows how quickly you can get a look done when you're using your hands and cream products. Now this one is um, called Art Jam. It's another MAC product and it's, um, it's basically a paint in a tube. So I'm using a tiny bit. Um, it's quite a nice sort of browny purpley tint. So I'm just going to use my ring finger and I'm going to apply that over the eyelid.
Now what's nice about products like this, because they're cream, they will shift and they'll move, uh, especially if you're out in the heat. So it's really just simple to use your finger to pat it back into place. You don't have to worry about any brushes. Look how quick that was. Easy. So both eyelids done. Now moving on to um, the liner. Now it's a little bit hard to see in her video if it's actually black or a really dark blue. But I'm going to go on the safe side and go for the black. Now this is yet another MAC product. Using a few of them today. It's one of their eye coals and it's called Smolder. And I love this one because it's dark but it's smudgy. So you can blend it in but it still stays quite intense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it along my top lash line and then using my little finger just smudge it in. So here we go. Okay, um, there you go. Really simple. If you don't want to use your finger, you can always use a cotton bud if you don't have a brush to hand. So now I'm going to put on some mascara, top and bottom. And I'm using Max Factor False Lash Effect for this in black. You can get this in waterproof actually, so it would be perfect for the beach. Now a couple more things, just to finish off the look. <clears throat> and the reason I'm holding my head this way is because actually my face is really burning from the lights right now. So looking a little bit pink around here, so I'll keep holding it this way uh, so the look looks a bit more normal. Okay, so I'm going to slap on lashings of pink lip gloss now. And she really does have it layered up in this. You can see how thick it is on her lips. Okay, so just the finishing, finishing touch to be put onto the skin now, and this is the most important part of this look, because JLo has, of course, a beautiful complexion, and her makeup has been done, but on top of her foundation, she has highlighter all over her face, and that highlighter has been applied using something like this. This is Dr. Lip. Um, which is made from lanolin and used for lips, cuticles, split ends, the whole shebang. But also you could use something for something like um, 8 Hour Cream by Elizabeth Arden. Anything that's going to give you that real glossy sheen. So, um, I'm going to apply this all over. So just squeezing a little bit onto my hand, you can see it here. Um, now, JLo has this in the scenes where she's running down the beach with that guy and they're looking really hot and steamy and sexy. So this is how it's been done. Um, she has it across her cheekbones. She has it just under her nose and on top of her lip. She has it all the way down her nose. And this is going to catch the light. Can you see? She has it underneath her eyebrow, all around here. And you may feel like you're ruining your makeup by applying this over the top, but actually you're really just adding to it and giving it that extra oomph. So you can afford to put quite a lot on here. Just ruffle my hair up. Look a bit more beachy here. You could always add something like Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray to give you that real beachy hair. Anyway, here you go. You can see the gloss on the skin. And that is my Jennifer Lopez natural beachy look for her new video, Into You. And I will be doing a couple more of her other looks soon because they are also awesome. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you would like to know any more about the products or how I have done this, you can find me on Twitter at Chloe Butcher, or on my blog, which is oh so Chloe. Have fun, take care, bye!